What's up guys, I am Jake Gorn here, and today I am going to be um, going over my brand new FLP I'm going to be releasing. This is my first ever FLP I'm ever releasing. I don't know how many I'm going to release, but um, yeah. So this is an FLP around my new track, Undefeated Love, and I kind of wanted to just like go in depth a little bit here for you guys. Um, so the FLP is down in the description below now. Is it for commercial use? No, not yet until I release it. Um, I will at least want to release it, but um, you guys can use this for whatever you want. You guys can use it for the base of your track, and you can you guys can like kind of like you know use it to learn as well. Um, I want you guys to like be able to like like learn and like have some fun, guys, because I know I was here at one point where I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't I had no idea. I've only been making music for about a year, and I I still like I'm still learning new things every day, and like there's always been those times where like I have no idea what I'm doing, and I need to learn something new, and I can just go in and just dissect things, you know. So um, this is my brand new track, Undefeated Love. Um, here we go. I'm gonna just break things down a little bit for you guys. I'm gonna try to explain things the best I can. Um, I'm still working on it actually, so um, if the FLP is a little bit different, then um, that's probably why because I'm changing up a little things. But so here we go. So this is the piano that I got going here. It just kind of follows the chords just for the vocals. And I added some. Here, hold on. Oh my gosh. So here's the bright piano. I added some delay, kind of fill it up in the background. And then I EQ'd, cut off all the low ends, added some reverb, and add some compressor just to mess it around a little bit. And then I added a pad. We got some reverb and cut out some of the highs here. And then we got delay here again, just to, it just fills it up. And then we got an ambient pad. And then here it's just got some reverb and cuts out some low ends and gets a little bit of the highs and gets some cool effects in there. And then we got another pad where I kind of like this effect. It's kind of cool. And this is what it sounds like. And I, all I did was cut out some of the low ends. And then we have an ARP here. All right, you get the mumbo jumbo. Um, and then we added uh, the, we cut out all the low ends and then we added some reverb. And then also in the break here, I see I added a pluck bass. Um, I thought it'd be kind of, you know, when making music guys, you guys can be as creative as possible. Do whatever you guys want. You're free to whatever you do. There's no rules. There's no none of that. You can do whatever you want. That's what I do here in music. So I decided to add a cool pluck bass. And I, all I did was add some bass here on it. Just because, like, if I don't have this, you can see it doesn't sound as good. So I added that. And, um, yeah. And so, as you see here, um, I added a sub bass, too. Um, I actually didn't add anything to that. So, um, then we got um, cool looping arp here at the beginning. Um, you'll see when I play this for you guys how cool it is. Um, and then I added some crashes and some effects um, and a build up. And then I have my drop here. All I did was take the chords and kind of just cut them up and just made them sound cool. And then we added some reverb, we added some sidechain, and we cut all the low ends out. And then we got our second drop chord. You see here I also cut out some of the low ends, but kind of kept some of the high ends to kind of fill it. And then we also got some kickstart to get the sidechain. And then we got our leads here. All I did was pretty much just... When, when, when you guys are making tracks for vocals or like remixes, all you guys got to do is just kind of just go around the chords. You guys don't want to really go out of them because it'll sound weird. But you can also kind of like sometimes go, you don't have to stay in the same like note and stuff. But you want to stay around that area, you know. So this is what I made here. And I added some kickstart, reverb. See here, I added some highs and cut out some of the lows. Um, we got some more kickstar here, and I didn't add any EQ in there. Got to go back and do that. Then we got some more kickstar, cut out the low end, and added some more reverb. And then we got the bass here. And as you see here, we just added some stuff, cut out some of the low ends, some of the highs. 
And then we got some more kickstart and stuff. I'll just go through real quick for you guys. And then we got the sub base. We need you guys to use kickstart on sub base. All you guys do is just go over this sub base chain and it'll work pretty great. And then um, I just cut out some of the highs there because they were kind of just useless pretty much. And then I had some kickstart and then I added this cool little EQ little thing. I, bar I barely even did anything on it. I, I actually, like I didn't mean to add it and I just was messing around with it and I actually made something cool out of it. And then we just added some uh, the bass here on the end and just kind of, you know, made it cool. So and then all we did was just, all I did was just add some kicks, some claps. You guys usually want to have some claps here. I'll show you guys how cool this is. All I did was add this and it kind of just fills the drop as you see here and I just added some reverb kick start um, and I cut out some of the low ends on it and then as you see here it'll sound so much cool when you add some like symbols and stuff and then it sounds even better when you have sweep downs and like crashes And as you guys see here on the build up, you see down here, um, I have two build ups. Um, there's one that like kind of stops. You're like, what the heck? That's weird. But I have this other fill to like fill it because I don't want to have just one long fill because I've I've used this one in a lot of my tracks and I don't want it to sound the same. So what I did is I added a, another long fill. So here I'll show you guys what it sounds like. You guys see what I did there, and then I also added this like cool little cl like little clock thing. I don't even know what to call it, but it's really really cool. I forgot who I got that from, but I, whoever whoever I learned that from, shout out to you because that's a really cool effect when I do my fills for my drop. And so yeah, pretty much that's pretty much all I got here, guys. So I'm gonna play my track what we got here, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after this. have it um that's pretty much how you make a uh, progressive house and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys enjoy the flp remember guys down the links in the description also the rest of my links my spotify my instagram and stuff is all down in the description below so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll check you guys out later peace out